Hi, this is Fran with Stampendous, and I wanted to feature some fun things out of our new January catalog. And I've got a real fun template for you. So let me show you what we're gonna do here. I've created some really interesting little step cards. And this one is an A2 size, and it's so simple to do. And the same um, design I've used as well to make a large one. And so we've got two sizes, but they work the same way and they feature some of our new January products. So let me walk through a couple of tips for you here. I've created a template for you and I'm, this is a center step card. And this one is sized perfectly for our new frame uh, clear stamps with dies that create the beautiful wavy frame. And this dimension as a vertical fits beautifully in this dimension of card. And all the lines are marked out here. Ultimately, it's gonna to fold to an A2. And we've given you all the lines that will tell you where to cut and uh, where to fold. So we'll make this download available and it's got all the measurements and everything you need. And there's a couple different ways of using it. And one uh, plan, if you have capacity to print, would be to simply print this out on your printer and printing on, I printed on the smooth side, leaving the texture side, and then you simply could cut and score right on top of this. And uh, this as the back wouldn't show. And so that's one option. Another one would be to uh, print out your paper just on bond paper. And then I've taped it to my uh, aqua paper and I thought I would try using just a pointy tool to make um, a little tiny pin prick at each of the um, places here that would give me a measurement. And this is just all about my uh, finding shortcuts to uh, measuring and penciling everything. Now, if you want to simply um, study this and measure it all out, we've given you uh, dimensions uh, measuring from left to right, where you're gonna make markings at one and at four and a half, or going from this length, you've got all of the, the markings there. So you've got options of how you ever, however you want to use it. And then on the large one, um, I tried a little bit different thing as well. I folded the edges or you could cut away um, the outside edge and by folding it back you could make your markings onto your cardstock. Here we print it on the back again and this this will work for a medium value paper anyway. And this one of course you're going to get two out of an eight and a half by eleven if you aren't using the full sheet just for the, the patterning. So I've done a large one and I have it in stages here so that you can see how it comes together. So I did a couple of markings, a couple of pencil uh, notes on the front and I was able to do my cutting and my scoring all the way across as I worked my way through the pattern. So once you've marked your paper, to do the cutting, I would want to spot the middle of my scoring blade has a little line that tells me where the actual point of the blade is. And I would line that up to my marked point there to cut from here and stop down here. And again, you'll stop when that little point there is right in line with whatever marking you had, okay? The same with the scoring, you're gonna have to eye that center spot of the scoring. So on this one, sometimes I'm scoring on those outside areas only, and then here I'm scoring only through uh, the middle between the two cuts. So now that we have that all marked, and um, I actually had some pencil marks on it, and I was able to use an eraser and it erased away all the little lines. I had one left here, I'll erase a little bit further. Okay, 
So now to find your score lines, and this has got your reference here. We're doing a mountain fold out here. This color paper is a nice heavy weight, which stands up quite nicely. Find I'm going to press it just a little bit and then I'll use my burnishing tool. Okay, and then this one is marked as a valley fold. I'll just begin to press each one. And then this one is another mountain fold. Okay, and this one here is a mountain fold. Okay, I'm going to put the points of my card together. Burnish all of those edges and there it is it's just simple being that one piece of paper but you really get a three-dimensional effect and then I've prepared a couple of other pieces here using uh, the frames and the uh, pop uh, the flowers here and I've made my little message recessed and I've got some sticky squares on the back, I built up a single layer in the middle and a double layer around the outside. And I think I'm gonna center it and press it down, okay. And I used other small images in the set to do some stamping along the bottom edge and add some little butterflies on the side panels. And now I think I'll take a ribbon here and do a little tie up here at the top. I might just secure it with a glue dot to hold it exactly in place where I want and trim away a little bit more or add a little bit more of a bow. But there you see the finished card and how easy it is to put it all together. And on the large ones, you can fit the frame horizontal. The small one, the frame works vertically. And this one, the fairy wings, was just nice the way it off-balanced to the side. And this one is also going to be a nice size to add. Um, but anyway, you can see on the template, this one would be a little bit tall for the small one, but it would work quite nicely on, I'll just show you back here, on the height of the large one. So there's some fun, customized, center step cards for you to have some fun with.